This is the U console by Clockwork Pi. The ultimate mini hacking device for the go. And I know compared to my other devices, it's big. But for a computer, we'll compare them later. And why you should actually get this. What is it? If you don't know what it is. And first off, it's a hacking device. But it doesn't come as a hacking device. So first, we did get some firmware on here. And it was actually kind of hard getting color Linux on here. Not the process, but just I didn't know how to do it because there are no videos. But I figured it out, and I'm going to be showing you in less than 30 seconds. If you want to open up Chrome, whatever browser you use, go to Kali U Console. It should be about the first one to pop up. From there, you can scroll down. It should be the first one. Go to 2.4 gigabytes on Mega. Take a few seconds, probably five seconds in total to download it right there. And you can open it up. You may have to unzip it or something like that, but it should be looking like this. From here, you can go to Raspberry Pi, plug in your USB drive. Just choose the OS by going to Custom, Kali Linux, and Raspberry Pi 4. That is the one you want. And Custom Settings, apply your own. So we're back to the video. Whew. Uh, like I said, it's pretty easy. If you can't listen that fast, what I was just saying, slow it down. But like I said, not too many steps, just Raspberry Pi Imager. But this is the U console. You know you've got it working. You just plug your SD card right into the top, take the old one out. You could even erase it if you want to. I did. But now you have Kali Linux. I'm not going to lie. This is way better than the Raspberry Pi firmware that was on there. Just a few things. On the Raspberry Pi firmware, the screen is not this cool. I mean, I know you could change the background. Right here, and the other one just had Wi-Fi. Over here, you could see Wi-Fi is connected to, connects to Wi-Fi networks, create your own Wi-Fi networks, VPN connections. has Bluetooth now. It's got volume. You can change your mic, all that stuff, because there is all that stuff in here. Put on Do Not Disturb, Calendar. When you want to turn it off, you can switch accounts. You can log out, restart it, or shut it down. But the main thing I love about this other than how small it is, is all of these hacking features. You just come up here to the top left. These are all different tools for hacking. Like, I'm not even joking here. In favorites, we have root terminal, which is what you're going to be using for all of your hacking stuff. I'm taking a class on X something, and it teaches you all this stuff. So to open root, because it's so powerful, you don't want other people messing with it, you have to enter a password. And now I'm actually in the root. You can do all kinds of stuff from here. It's so fun. This is not terminal. Terminal is up here. And this is not where you do stuff like you would on a normal computer. And from here you can do all the hacking stuff. It's crazy. But that's just one tool out of all of these. We've got Kali Tweaks. Let's see. We've got These are all hacking tools. VOIP tools, SQL map. I know there's Python in here somewhere. Yeah. It's got Hydra, and like all of this stuff is just so crazy because I've never actually had Kali Linux on a device. So enter the service to attack. <laughs> this is like attacking networks and stuff. It's just so fun, and it doesn't even have to be for hacking. I mean, you've got, it's just a better operating system. Everyone knows Mac sucks, Windows sucks, but Kali Linux is actually so fire. It's got Firefox in here. Get it, fire, fire. You can download all kinds of apps in here. And I find that it actually just runs a lot smoother on here than it did on the Raspberry Pi firmware, which is weird because you think it would work better on that. Firefox is already running. It tells you all the warnings and stuff, but this is just such a fun thing to have in your collection. And from here, you could look all stuff up. This is just for Kali. How to get Kali, all kinds of different stuff, Kali tools. So if you look up here, we have preset options to go to Kali forums, NetHunter. All that stuff, but you could just open Google, do whatever you want with it. But when I said this is tiny, I mean it's actually tiny. And this has everything this computer has, just smacked into that little. And this computer is a small one. This is not a big computer. This is a small work computer I'm gonna be using for school next year. And this thing is not even as big as the screen. So I don't know. That's just pretty unbelievable. I know there are even smaller computers than this, but at that point, is it really even a computer anymore? That's just strictly for hacking. Like, on here, you could read the words, even if it's too small, but... Overall, this is definitely an awesome device to have in your collection. And for a computer like that, that this runs better, that computer is like 800, I think? This was 200. And this was sent to me by Awkward Pie. And I'll leave a link below. They make all kinds of awesome stuff. Typewriters. Uh, trying to think. Game Boys. 
all kinds of awesome stuff. This is just their most known product. And, like I said, we're going to be having more videos in the future with this. Maybe comparing, you've been watching my videos, you're like, which one of these hacking devices do I want? Some of them are cool, some of them are just for basic people that don't want to get into hacking. Some are for pranks, and some are for really bad stuff. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you're interested in this device, go buy it from Clockwork Pie. That is it. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.